How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro X tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about frequently asked questions because I've been getting quite a lot of them and most of them are the same. So I'm just going to put them all into a video so that uh, everyone knows what's going on. Now, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's do it. First is going to be, can I open old Logic Pro 9 projects in Logic Pro X? The answer to that is yes. The project in front of you is a Logic Pro 9 project. Now, to do this, all you have to do is go into a folder that has an old Logic Pro 9 project in it. Uh, for example, this, this folder right here. We can right click on the project file, open with Logic Pro X. It'll ask you, hey, do you want to convert to Logic Pro X? And you're going to be like, heck yeah. And then it's going to create a file structure like this. So it's going to add some more folders, but the nice thing is, you can transfer in between Logic Pro 9 and Logic Pro X pretty seamlessly. Uh, so that's always good news. Um, so the answer to that question is definitely yes. Next question, what is the size of the additional content that comes with Logic Pro X? And the answer to that is, depends. Are you upgrading? If you are, it's going to be around 15 gigabytes of data. Uh, if you're not and you're buying this completely new and you don't have Logic Pro 9 on your system, then it's going to be around 30 gigabytes of data. And to do this, all you have to do is, once downloaded, go to Logic Pro X and then download additional content. And I have it all installed, but uh, here it is. Okay. Next question, can I use all of the third-party plugins that I use in Logic Pro 9 now in Logic Pro X? And the answer to that is no. Logic Pro X is a 64-bit uh, program. And for some reason, they decided that they are not going to allow any 32-bit plugins to work inside of Logic Pro X. And uh, this is a concern for a lot of people because... You know, people who are, you know, doing this for a living uh, might depend on those plugins that are 32-bit. Uh, so this is definitely a problem. If you want to go check out the plugins that you have inside of Logic Pro X, you can go to Preferences and then Audio Units Manager, and you can see all the plugins that you have. I am definitely missing some, uh, so I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. All right, so next question is, will Logic Pro 9 be deleted upon download of Logic Pro X? And the answer to that is no. You are both going to have a program for Logic Pro as well as Logic Pro X and you can open up and they're, they're actually they're just completely separate programs and you can do whatever you'd like with both of them. Alright, next question. How can I delete Logic Pro 9 without affecting Logic Pro X? And the answer to that is grab your icon and drag into the trash and empty your trash. But listen, 30 gigabytes of additional content, that is a lot. The size of your actual Logic application is very minimal compared to that. So just keep it on your computer. I don't. There's no reason for you to get rid of it. Okay, next is going to be, if I didn't buy Logic Pro 9 from the App Store, will that affect Logic Pro X once it's downloaded? Uh, so say you got it from CDs uh, a long time ago, uh, like I did or you got it you know, from some other means, whatever it may be. Uh, so this uh, answer is no, it will not be affected. It's, like I said, a completely separate program, so uh, just you know, download it and it'll work. All right, next question is, does Logic Pro X load down the system as much as Logic Pro 9 or more? And this question is, I haven't really completely answered this question myself, but to the best of my knowledge, as I've been playing around with it here, uh, it does not tax my system any more than Logic Pro 9 did. If anything, it does better. Uh, so they definitely made some improvements on how this is run, uh, the workflow, uh, just how it's being managed on the CPU and uh, with your memory and everything. So you should have no problem if you can run Logic Pro 9. Uh, and that's actually all the questions that I've been receiving that are just continual questions. Uh, so if you have any more, definitely hit me up in the questions below, or in the comments below, sorry, and uh, I'll definitely be hitting you up. And uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying Logic Pro X. Peace.